Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, it's been a very sad day today with the passing of Olivia Newton-John being announced. Um, watched a lot of videos. Uh, it was very um, um, sad to watch people like Richard Wilkins try and um, talk about her on air and not be able to make through it. Um, just the whole country seems to be mourning. <laughs> uh, Channel 9 is showing Grease tonight, so I'll be watching that. Um, she was... Um, offered a state funeral by, again, Daniel, Daniel Andrews, and um, her family accepted it. Uh, Toddy Goldsmith, who I didn't realise was related to her, um, was being interviewed on A Current Affair, and she said that they have accepted it, that that had just happened today. So now we're having two state funerals for two Australian icons, two singing legends, Olivia Newton-John and Judith Durham. It's, it's been a very sad, very surreal week, um, and... It's oh, she. She seemed to do so much in her last years for um, cancer research and and her wellness centre. Apparently, she spent a lot of time there, um, kind of anonymously being treated, as well as um, just visiting people and um, talking to people and that. And um, I really regret not having met her. There were a few opportunities here and there where I probably could have. If I'd really tried. Um, I wanted to see her in concert, and um, the last tour I was aware of her doing was one with John Farnham. And I wanted to see her on her own. I don't think she toured again after that. And if she did, I wasn't aware of it. So I don't think she did, but I really regret not seeing her in concert now. And there are a few artists who um, did tours of Australia, like Joan Collins. Um, she's still alive though. Um, but people who've passed on, like B. Arthur, um, um, oh, Carrie Fisher, and I didn't see them and I really regret it now. So if you have the chance to see or meet a celebrity um, performing or at a Q&A or an interview or appearance, just do it. You, you'll, you, you'll regret it if you don't. They're always great experiences. I've met a lot of people over the years, but there's a few I could have met that I could have made the effort for. Um, Jane Fonda is another one who I could have met twice. And at one time I picked, um, had to choose between her and Priscilla Presley, and I chose Priscilla Presley because she was appearing half an hour before. They were basically on the same time in the city, and I thought I can do both, if, but I, I, I couldn't do both. Um, so, yeah, I just, I don't know, it's a, it's a sad day. I really regret not seeing her now, and it's just very heartwarming to see how many people were um, touched by her and the, the unanimous sort of um, view that she was a genuine and one person, and, and she had sort of found her purpose in, in life, not just entertaining, but also um, fighting for wellness. Um, and it's she'll she'll be missed, and I just really regret not meeting her. So don't put off meeting celebrities or people that are um, artists that are important to you. Um, they may not be here tomorrow. You may think that you've got all the time in the world, and they'll be back for another tour. You know, just just don't wait. Um, I'm glad she's getting a state funeral. I wish I could go. I would nearly come out of you know this to go, but I'm, I, I still can't. So um. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm going to listen to some more what songs of hers, watch some of her videos, and get ready to watch Greece with the rest of the country.